Um, hi, everyone. Uh, good uh, Monday evening, actually. Um, so uh, today's video, um, uh, first thing I want to do is apologize for the quality of the video. Um, you know, I have a, I need to upgrade my camera sometime in the future, but right now I just have this uh, webcam, and resolution on it isn't very good. But this will be a quick video. Um, this, uh, this video is a review again. Uh, of another product for digital artists. Uh, what it is, it's a review of, uh, uh, well, first of all, uh, my uh, pen monitor is, um, it's a, uh, it's an Oogie, uh, uh, what is it, Oogie, Oogie 1560 uh, or um, pen tablet monitor. And, um, with this particular monitor, it doesn't come with uh, any express keys on the side of it. Uh, so what I did is uh, I looked up on Amazon uh, express key remote controls, and I came across this, which is a um, an it's an XP Pen AC19 shortcut remote. And what this what this does for you with uh, a pen tablet that doesn't have express keys is it uh, gives you the express keys. Um, I'm going to demonstrate how it works. Um, first thing you do is uh, it comes with the the uh, you know the actual remote itself <clears throat> and a U little USB uh, you know USB uh, uh, device. Uh, and what you do is and you can see my webcam running. I'm going to get rid of that. Hold on. I'm just going to put it down here. Um, all right, so um, so what you do is you you plug in the uh, you plug in the uh, USB module, and up pops this. Um, uh, what this is, and let me make sure I've got it. Make sure I'm filming it. Yes. Okay, so and pardon me with the, the webcam, but I want to make sure I'm capturing this. Uh, what this is is uh, it it, uh, it shows you how to set the functions on this remote. Um, so the first thing up here is what the what functions the roller can can uh, accomplish. This this little roller here, you can turn it left and right. Um, and what you do is you have a uh, uh, the roller functions. You have uh, you have an ena enabled uh, screen. And you have a disabled screen, and so what you're able to do is take some of these uh, uh, some of these functions and highlight them, and switch them over to where they're enabled. Um, so right now I have a zoom out and in brush size, uh, uh, brush size and layer uh, selection, um, and what it does is the roller will control these. And the K10 key right here in the middle will switch between functions. I'm going to show you how that works. Um, whenever you want uh, these nine buttons here, when you want to program them to your digital art or digital software program, what you want to do is it comes default with certain functions, but a lot of times you want to change them. So you want to look up online um, uh, what the keystroke uh, uh, functions are for your digital um digital art uh, program. Um, so what you can do is you, you click, you know, as you can see, you know, K1 is right here, K1, and what you can do is you can select K1, either you can keep it the default functions, um, there's a run program function, I don't know what that is, I'm not going to mess with it, I don't want to screw anything up, but then you also can uh, select keystroke and when you do that this is a bit confusing to me at first I didn't want to do anything with it because it was obvious to me that I'm not using a mouse um, I'm gonna be using a pen so I want a keyboard function instead but right here it says set on roller button well it's not really gonna do that um, it's gonna set the actual K you know K7 or K1 function for you so you look up online, um, like say, uh, you know, a copy is, you know, um, you know, to copy something is Control C. So all you do is, you know, you select keystroke, keyboard function, and you type in that screen your shortcut on, on your keyboard. You click OK. 
All right, so so I have copy, I have paste, I have the space bar, et cetera, et cetera. Um, um, one of the important things here is the K6 key. It's undo, control Z. Um, now, this may sound a bit confusing to you because it did to me when I first did it. It took a little bit of patience, a little bit of, you know, uh, let me go ahead and try this. I'm not so sure what I'm doing. But once you're done with that, you click the apply button, and what you come up with is, hang on. Um, so you have different functions. So uh, here in the roller bar, you can see that I've had it set for zoom in and out. But if I push that center key, because I have the roller function selected, now it changes that brush size for me. I push the K, K uh, 10, uh, the middle middle button again, and as you can see, it's switching between it's switching between layers for me without me doing it. So um, actually, I'm going to stay on the skin layer, push my K10, and I'm back to a function I use a lot. Um, I've got uh, this key right here programmed to where if I push it, oh no, I'm sorry, it's the wrong one. If I push it, if I push this one lower right hand key I can move my canvas around so I can hold it down I can put my pen on the paper and I can move it around um, let me go to the pen tool and show you something else um, let's set it to black pen tool okay so I made a line right well this button right here I have programmed to undo uh, it's really convenient functions you can you can function all these keys you know to different functions that you want to provide that are handy to uh, so that you don't have to go up to the menu and select everything you've got this remote in your your left or right hand your pen in your left or right hand and you just go for it so it is a time saver um, a, um, XP pen um, AC 19 th they're not paying me to review their products I just think this thing is really nifty really handy and hopefully you guys like it too. Uh, I'll put a link to it on Amazon in the description of this video. And, uh, you know, highly recommend, guys. Uh, give it a shot. Uh, they really aren't that expensive. And uh, it just uh, it makes everything nice and convenient. Um, so make sure to like and subscribe my channel. Really appreciate it. You guys keep drawing. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.